Welcome to Raider Recap. We have last week's highlights and the player of the week. Plus information for the next game. All this and more, MTV starts now. Welcome to AMP TV's Raider Recap. I'm Christian Reyes. And I'm Isaiah Tompkins. And let's look at the highlights from the homecoming game. Raiders offense in the red zone. Levante Marshall takes a snap, running to the right, cuts up the middle. That's a touchdown. Here's Raiders, about 50, running, takes a snap. Cedric bounces it out, and he's down the sideline and gets tackled at about the 20. Here we got the defense trying to make a stop. Preview trying to run a screen pass. That's not going to go anywhere. You got Travis Dice coming up to make the tackle. You got a forced fumble. Running the Texas snap, and Cedric bounces it in the middle, and that's a touchdown. Offense trying to make another play. Cedric in the Wildcat, he's going to take the snap. Great blocking up front, and there's nothing but green grass. That is a touchdown. We're here with our head coach, Darren Franklin. What's up, guys? All right, coach. We know our team can run the ball very well. Why do you think that is? Oh, man. Uh, I mean, first off, you know, it starts with you two guys, uh, Isaiah and Christian, you know, returning. Um, also, um, having senior leadership uh, by Raymond. Um, and then, you know, one of our players of the week, uh, Joshua Gardado, 10th grader. You know, he's very physical and optimistic. But I think that we're able to run the football because you guys believe in one another. Uh, you're coached by Coach Sinet, is an outstanding coach. And uh, the biggest thing is also, you know, we have a senior running back, uh, Sandra Gilbert, who uh, understands what, what it means to be able to fall forward and uh, advance the football. So we, we can run the football for all those, because of all those things. All right. Thank you, Coach. All right, Coach, as we've seen over the last few games, once we start gashing teams on the ground, they start to load the box. What are some adjustments that the offense is going to make this week to push the ball downfield? Well, for us, uh, you know, it, it's all about trying to get the ball into our playmaker's hands. You know, uh, we're excited to be able to get Cortez on the field. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a new playmaker for us. Uh, looking forward to getting the ball in the hands of Keno Tillman and Levante Marshall uh, with those guys. And just trying to get the ball in their hands in space and, and, and let them do their thing and be dynamic, explosive players that represent the Boom Squad. Yes, sir. All right, Coach. Who do you think is under the most pressure this game? Man, I, I don't know that it's pressure because uh, everybody wants to win. You know, uh, if any pressure, it's probably on me as the leader. But uh, for us, obviously, we don't want to lose uh, two district games, okay? For us, man, just from the positive outlook, we want to be able to go one and no each week. So there's really no pressure. It's high school football. Uh, but we want guys to go out and play fast, have fun, and be very physical. So I, I don't think there's any pressure. I think that we just know that the expectation is to be one and no every day and every week. All right. All right. What are you doing to prepare the team to face last year's district champs this Friday? Uh, I, I think that um, the guys understand that, you know, we need more positive plays than negative plays. Uh, we saw that even last year in this, in this, uh, against this opponent, against Grapevine. Uh, we were up, winning, had the game in control. We made some negative plays as far as penalties and things like that. For us, we know that if we can play as close to the perfect game as possible, we'll be able to do that. Um, so guys are meeting with their position groups, with their coaches. Uh, we're having energetic practices. And we just want guys to be confident in what they're doing and go out and play real fast and physical. All right. Thanks, Coach, for answering our questions, and thanks for being on the show. Cool. Thank you, guys. Yes, sir. And another player shout-out to congratulate is Raymond Gorvey, who was named the most outstanding senior of the first six weeks. Raymond is always around to help and stays on top of his work. Raymond is also right guard for the Southwest football team, and he's a great student that always helps his peers. Congratulations to Raymond. And now we're here with Players of the Week, Malachi Robinson. And Joshua G. So, Josh. How did you feel playing your first homecoming game? Well, it was a different experience, especially since it was uh, my first varsity uh, homecoming game. So, Malika, how did you feel forcing that fumble? I felt like I did good on a play because I already knew it was 14-14 during the half, and I was just trying to think of anything I could just make a turnover for the offense just to make a touchdown. All right, Josh, you're a sophomore. You're starting on varsity. How does that feel? Well, it feels great, actually. Um, this year, I didn't even expect to play varsity, and all these past practices, I've really tried my best, and it showed. 
So, Malachi, how do you think you're going to perform this Friday against the Grapevine? I think I'm going to perform good. All I have to do is just stick with Coach Plan, just spill it, and that's all. All right. Thanks for coming on our show. The next game will be against Grapevine High School at 7 p.m. Friday, October 8th at Clark Stadium. Come out and support the Raiders. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all of our social medias.